Hello, everybody. Today, we'll be taking a look into an interesting inequality from the Asian Pacific Maths Olympiad in 2005. Given that A, B, C are positive real numbers such that A times B times C is equal to 8, prove that A squared over the square root of 1 plus A cubed times 1 plus B cubed plus B squared over the square root of 1 plus B cubed times 1 plus C cubed plus C squared over the square root of 1 plus C cubed times 1 plus A cubed is larger or equal to 4 over 3. Before we move on, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. When approaching questions concerning inequalities, the main idea is to convert the statement into a simpler one, which is easier to prove. And to do that, we often need to use different identities and inequalities to convert, such as the AMGM, Cauchy inequality rearrangement, and I can name any other more, like such as Janssen, Holder, Bernoulli, and you are more than welcome to search them up, but we won't go into too much depth in this video. And another good technique or trick, I would say, is to guess the conditions in which the inequality holds, such as in this case, a, b, c equals to 8, and we can guess a equals to b equals to c equals to 2, which is actually the condition where it holds in this problem. And applying 2 and 3, we can remove complicated expressions to convert, such as in this, in this case, the denominator is a square root, which is very unpleasant, so we want to do that by a... Um, um, a and GM in this case, and using some other identities. So let's move on. So we consider the following inequality, which is A and GM, I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Given that x1, x2, all the way up to xn are positive real numbers larger than zero, then the sum of the n numbers over n is larger or equal to the nth square roots of the product of the n numbers. And this can be proved easily by a mathematical induction in and any other ways which you could think of. So I won't go into too much depth, and I will focus on the question. And equality holds when x1 equals to x2 equals all the way up to xn, which is actually very useful considering we already guessed the um, conditions where the equality holds is a equals to b equals to c. So this is one of the most fundamental inequality mathematics along with Cauchy and rearrangement and many other more. And so let's move on. So below are the two cases in which we would use NGM. So um, let's say when n equals to 2, we have x1 plus x2 over 2, larger or equals to the square root of x1 times x2. And when n equals to 3, we have x1 plus x2 plus x3 over 3, larger or equals to the um, cube root of x1 times x2 times x3. And again, inequality holds when x1 equals to x2 equals to x3. And these inequalities will come handy uh, in the later part of the video when we're trying to solve a problem. So now consider x1 equals to a plus 1 and x2 equals to a squared minus a plus 1. So we have x1 plus x2 over 2 is equal to a plus 1 plus a squared minus a plus 1 over 2. And we will have a squared plus 2 over 2 which is also larger or equals to the square root of a with x1 times x2 and as we stated in the last slide, our identity, which is the square root of 1 plus a times 1 minus a plus a. So now let's consider this algebraic expression in a cubed plus 1. So as we can see, a cubed plus 1 is a very high order polynomial, so it is very hard to deal with. So we want to factorize it into a simpler form. So we can use other like a and g m to like basically remove it from existence. So we have a cubed plus one, and we can do some algebraic relations. And we have a cubed plus three a squared plus three a plus one minus three a squared minus three a, and we can factorize into a plus one cubed minus three a times a plus one. And as you can see, a plus one is a common factor. So we have a plus one times a squared plus two a plus one minus three a. Then we'll have a plus one times a squared minus a plus 1. And as we can see, so if we think about our condition where the equality holds, we have a equals to 2. And a plus 1, when, get, when a equals to 2, we have 3. And a squared minus a plus 1, when a equals to 2, we also have 3. So it is very useful to use this sharp characteristic to apply MGM and to further simplify the problem. 
So we have a squared over the square root of 1 plus a cubed times 1 plus b cubed. This equals to a squared over the square root of 1 plus a times 1 minus a plus a squared times 1 plus b times 1 minus b plus b squared. And this equals to a and this larger equals to a squared over a squared plus 2 over 2 times b squared plus 2 over 2, which is equals to 4a squared over a squared plus 2 times b squared plus 2. And which means we have the original statement, and we can convert it to 4a squared over a squared plus 2 times b squared plus 2, cyclic, large equals to 4 over 3. And we can simplify the four on both sides. We have the cyclic of a square over a square plus two times b plus two is larger equals to one over three. And to make things easier, we can substitute x equals to a squared, y equals to b squared, and z equals to c squared. And we will have the following simpler inequality, which is x over x plus two times one plus two plus y over y plus two times z plus two plus z over z plus two times x plus two larger equals to 1 over 3. And we have achieved our goal to convert it into a simple statement using a GM and different identities. So we are very close to the end, to be honest. And yeah, a x equals a squared, r equals b squared, and z equals c squared, x, y, z are all, all real um, numbers, positive real numbers. So we can multiply both sides by 3 times x plus 2, times y plus 2, times z plus 2, and we will have 3x times z plus 2, cyclic, larger equals to cyclic of x plus 2. And we would have expanded, we have 3 times xy plus xz plus yz plus 6 times x plus y plus z, larger equals to xyz plus 2 times xy plus xz plus yz plus 4 times x plus y plus z plus 8. And since we know that x plus xyz is equals to a squared times b squared times c squared equals to 64, and we can um, cancel out both sides, we will have xy plus xz plus yz plus 2 times x plus y plus z large equals to 72. And so we only have to prove this inequality. And if you can remember, we have one more thing that we have not mentioned above. So let's go on to the next slide. And finally, we can apply the AMG inequality when it equals to 3 on both of these inequalities as shown below. And we would have xy plus xz plus yz plus 2 times x plus y plus z large equals to 16 times 3 plus 2 times 4 times 3 equals to 72. And that concludes our proof. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you the next time. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video and comment. See you guys. Thank you.